Hi, my name is Rich Richards and I'm the store manager of Innovative Car Audio here located at 3901 West, 5400 South in uh, Taylorsville, Utah. Uh, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how to design a car audio system. Um, in designing your car audio system, the first thing uh, that you want to do is you want to look at the head unit, whether it be an AM FM CD player or a deck that uh, you can hook uh, multiple sources into. Um, <coughs> Um, one of the things that you want to look for when you're looking for a head unit is you want to look for a deck that has high voltage output through its preamp and the reason being is is because when you add an amplifier it's going to make it so that uh, it makes the amplifier actually louder and cleaner sounding. Um, the second thing you're going to need um, would be speakers and depending on the car you have depending on what size the speakers are uh, the best setup to do would be to do a component, whereas you have a mid-range speaker as well as a tweeter. And uh, <clears throat> then basically what you want to try to do, if at all possible, is you want to try to place those two speakers as close to one another as you can. Um, and then uh, you would also need uh, rear speakers. And rear speakers uh, don't necessarily have to be components. You could actually do a coaxial type speaker in the rear. Um, <clears throat> a coaxial speaker that I have here would be something such as this, even though this is a marine speaker. Um, but it is a coaxial speaker. Um, and then the other things you're going to need is, is you're going to need uh, a four channel amplifier to run all four of those speakers, as well as a uh, monoblock or a two-channel amplifier that's bridgeable that you can use to run a subwoofer or two subwoofers or as many subwoofers as you want to run and uh, <clears throat> once you have all of that then basically you want to course also make sure you have the proper wiring and the proper fusing for the wiring um, wiring meaning a power kit to run uh, power to the amplifier um, and then um, RCA so that you can get signal uh, to the amplifier and then a remote turn on lead which is going to turn on the amplifier. Um, and then the other thing you also want to do is you really want to make sure that the amplifiers that you use have crossovers built in them. So that are, therefore you can make the speakers inside the car uh, only play the frequencies uh, for mid-range, mid-bass and tweeter the bass amplifier can play the subwoofers. Essentially with all of that you've basically built a pretty decent system.